<laughs> a green one, <laughs> and a mushroom. There you go. There it is again. All right, guys, so I want to give you a quick outline of what we're going to talk about today before Brent uh, takes off with his updates. Um, he's going to discuss the, the, the messages that have been coming out daily about local updates and uh, what's going on in the market. Um, and I'm going to run through what we can get our hands on for local, some of the new programs we've kicked off, and uh, our QA, what we have to do the answer for QA. But Brent's getting going, so I'm just going to do a little bit of the local update right now. So all the green stuff you see up here, we're able to source that for Power Calcana, which is about 15 minutes from here down the road in Aurora, Aurora slash Canby. Um, right now he's had uh, he's had some cilantro and uh, Italian parsley coming in this week. Also able to get uh, collard greens, red char, uh, rainbow char is about a week or two away. But one thing that's really coming on is the leaf items. He's going to have the romaine items, uh, green leaf, red leaf, and butter lettuce. Uh, those are, they're, he sent some in to me to show off, but they're a little immature. They're about a week away from being fully ripe, I guess is the best way to describe them. Uh, he also does a, a bunch spinach, something we don't traditionally carry. Um, a lot of people like having that wash product from our, our friends down in California, which is just a safer product. But if you want like a traditional retail display, uh, bunch spinach, we can get our hands on that. Um, he is doing another kale as well that started last year called Dino Kale or Black Kale or Last Kale, there's a couple of different names for it. Uh, locally, we can always get our mushrooms local. Those are a year-round program, we can get a mushroom. And the last thing I wanted to touch on is our local asparagus. We're in the prime time of local asparagus coming out of the Yakima area. We have partnered up with uh, a company called Snow and Sons. They've always done a really good job with uh, local asparagus. Um, everyone's probably seen the price is a little elevated on asparagus right now. The reason for that is, is asparagus is a global game. Everyone around the world wants to have asparagus. Specifically in this country, the people on the East Coast would traditionally pull all their asparagus this time of year from Peru. Peru does not have the asparagus out there to supply the, the demand that's out there for the East Coast. So really what the state of Washington has done is put everyone on their back and is trying to carry the country and supply as much asparagus as possible. That's why the price is up. There's just not as much supply out there to accommodate the demand that's, that's needed for asparagus. Um, it's, we have great quality stuff coming in, but just it's just a higher price point than what we're used to seeing. Is that like an anomaly with weather or something, or are they just out of the asparagus game? It's probably an anomaly. I, I think they want, it's a cash crop for them, and they do a good job of it. it just, it's just not growing. It's very you need to have a good 70, 75 degree weather to really make these things grow. Um, if it's in prime weather, you can almost watch asparagus grow right in front of your eyes. It can grow an inch an hour if it's in prime growing conditions. If it's cold, it just stalls out. It does not grow at all. So that's the reason why asparagus is so big because it's really based on what the weather it has out there. I've had some issues with the large versus the standard for, and I, I'm sure you remember my email about that, but, <coughs> you know, I have a customer that I've actually lost in their asparagus business because they do a bacon wrapped asparagus, and for a while they were doing really good with the large asparagus, and then for four orders in a row, four weeks in a row, when they ordered the large, they got the pencil size. Right. It's, it's, it happens all the time. You just, you can never get consistent size asparagus year round. This is extremely tough to, and I can see Jeff here smiling because he's been battling asparagus for however long and so the girls been in business, but it, it's a difficult commodity to guarantee you're always going to get the exact size all the time because it's, again, you're... But it doesn't have to be exact, but pencil versus large, I mean, there's a significant difference and the size can vary, there's, so... Well, there's other things that go with it, too. When you bring in a whole pile of asparagus, sometimes those can get mixed in. Um, we have lumpers downstairs trying to break these pallets apart. Sometimes they keep a box with the wrong pallet when they shouldn't have. So that, that can't happen. You know, QA, we try to catch all those. Um, and the only thing they really look at every single box is, is for Oswego Grill because we, we really hand select every single box there. Because it's just the volume, <laughs> the volume they go through, really. So, How about um, tomatoes? Tomatoes have been looking good rough lately. Are they looking good now? Or? What do you mean rough? Well, for the, uh, the last two weeks, I've had at least five or six complaints where people who normally don't complain saying you know, overripe or moldy or sending me pictures. We've um, seen a lot of pickups on tomatoes. Yeah. I mean, are they looking good now? Are they starting to? I, yeah, we're, we're starting to get close to getting um, tomatoes from California. I mean, they're right now they're coming all the way from Florida. So they okay. That's that's what I was thinking too. But I, right. I wasn't sure when we were switching over. To California. Yeah, California's close, but you know, really, California presents a tomato that is not as nice as Florida. Because tomato, and then if everyone remember what Dave Normal said the last meeting, 
tomatoes in California are grown on the ground. Right. They're not grown on stakes to have beautiful Do we go to local at a certain point? I mean, in another month or two or three? Not years? really. We don't do a lot of local tomatoes. Usually what happens is people grow their own tomatoes and, and supply their own stuff. This is kind of what happens. Though. Before we get too careful, I want Brent to have his time because he's done a really good job with his updates. And then I'll come back up and I'll field a few more questions. So hit it, Brent. Right. Hey, good morning, everyone. Morning. So uh, Shane did a good point of highlighting uh, the local piece. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about that and some of the things I'm doing for you there. And secondly, I wanted to talk to you about you probably getting daily emails from and blasting your emails out. And the reason why for that is because I wanted to introduce you to some material that I was rolling out and get your opinions about it. So you had a chance to see it. I'm going to explain it a little bit. If you guys have any feedback or you have any questions or comments, please feel free to interject. I want this to be as a two-way street as possible. So um, the first part that I started out with was uh, your Cisco local vendors. I sent this out like a couple weeks ago. Excellent. And this is basically, um, I call it, it's like a menu of your Cisco local suppliers. So a 30 second quick shot of where, where your suppliers are coming from on base in Oregon and Washington, who they are, and what products that we carry in season. So if you want to grab their attention with some POS, I think this is a good way to start. And secondly, if they are interested in local products, group it together with Shane's locally grown hot chip that he sends out every week. Shane does a good job mentioning the SCPC, what items are coming in. He'll highlight if products coming in next week coming in locally. So if they're interested in that, that flyer that I hand out, show them this as well. And this is going to be like, okay, you're interested in asparagus is coming out of Yakima at this time. And secondly, I'm going out and physically meeting these people. Um, I'm trying to learn from them and their side of the operations as well. And so I want to pass that information on to you and give you materials to give to your customers. So I'm doing this local meet the, fire, uh, meet the farmers flyers that you can hand out. And so basically uh, I'm visiting every farm, writing a short bio about them, and then wanting you to give that to your customers. I call it a cute story. Uh, it's something that's pretty heartwarming, and that when you see it, you feel good about it, and you learn a little bit more about your local supplier. A good example is uh, Howard Calcano that uh, Shane was talking about with your local leaves. So you can learn about him, your customer can learn about them. And anything with the Cisco label on it, I feel that it's always better if they see it. Um, it's awesome. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I think it's great. Um, but when I was trying to download on Chatter the uh, local thing, uh -huh. uh, it kind of just went doot, doot, and fried as I tried to send it. Wouldn't let me email. I couldn't like put it on my desktop and email it to customers that way. I tried everything, and it was just. So I've been sending them out as images. I can send them out as a PDF if you can want you me to do that. PDF. That would be Okay, I'll do that from now on. I mean, good to know. I'll repost them, I guess, so you guys have those materials. Yeah. And I have like seven or eight done right now. I'm trying to do one or two a week. So hopefully by the end of August, you're going to have every single local supplier that we deal with. And, you, and also, um, yeah, I'm posting something to my chatter page. So subscribe to my chatter page if you want to find it quickly. All these posts that I'm doing, everything's going to be on there. So you can just do a quick search that way. So I'm just trying to filter through Portland sales. I know that list gets really long and built up a lot. Can you resend that out PDF too? Yeah, I'll send everything out PDF for you guys. Have yeah. you created an hashtag? I haven't. You should. Okay. So people can easily search it that way too. Okay. Yeah, and I was thinking about creating a Portland Cisco, uh, Portland Cisco produce page too. So if you guys just want to look up Portland produce, you can go to that chatter page too and find your materials there. And then cool. hashtag a great idea too. Yeah, whatever you name it. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, great. Yeah. And then um, secondly, these are the emails that you've been seeing every single day. I'm doing it a cycle Monday through Friday, so you're getting something new every day of the week. So on Mondays, uh, it's going to coincide with your weekly hot sheet you items. Still the weekly morsel. I call it the weekly morsel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, small bites. <laughs> I call it the daily morsel. <laughs> daily morsel, yeah, damn it. Uh, so um, it's going to go along with your hot sheet <laughs> items. <laughs> He's all hot dog. Right. <laughs> you should have patented it, uh, right? Yeah, you it. You just got his request at first. This is a little perfect. Wow. So it's going along with your uh, weekly hot sheet items, your sale items that you're going to see. And so I wanted to give you, you can look up uh, You can look up the pack size of it. You can look up what it is or if we have it in stock or not. But what you don't know is you don't know like the little quick, cool information that you can pass along to your customer. So that's what I want to do. So an example is, um, I brought about pineapple here. Is that if you store it, if you put a pineapple upside down, the sugars are going to come down from the bottom because it feeds through the stem, and then also it's going to ripen the pineapple quicker. So you chop off the part of the top so it sits flat, and that sort of information you can pass along to your customer and give them value in that way by being an information source rather than just telling them what pack size that we carry it in. 
So these, like I said, it's going to be your sale items too, so these items are going to be moving quickly for you. So maybe it'll just help you bring it up more, make you feel a little more comfortable talking about it. Excellent. That was, that one was awesome. really cool, the pineapple. Cool, cool. cool. Yeah. Cool. I'm glad you guys like that. Um, on Tuesdays, uh, as a put a bottle of vodka on the top of the two. It looks like a little On Tuesdays, uh, I'm a so so yeah, so quality cool. update. Mm -hmm. And basically, I chose your two most perishable items and highest moving volume items. So I chose your 40 account avocados and your number two tomatoes. And basically I go down there every Tuesday morning, take a picture of it, and send it out to you guys so it's taken that morning so you see what it looks like in the slot. Um, I think it's great if you want to pass it on to your customers. It's easy on the eye, you can read it well. Uh, example, like the number two tomatoes I saw, I saw them they were mostly pink. Um, you know, they weren't really red, they weren't the greatest quality of sauce, so I wrote that down there. But the avocados, they were perfect. And, uh, that's what I want to pass along. Now, did you guys want avocados and tomatoes every week? Or did you want other stuff too? Other stuff too. Well, avocados and tomatoes are really important. Well, the, right. the goal is to not to always have the exact same right. item all the time, right. but an avocado, we would just cycle through the avocados we had. Same with tomatoes. It, would, it could be a cherry tomato or it could be a. a well, people do tomato. seem to, you know, how yeah. is this this week? I, yeah, I would say. Yeah. Or strawberries in there too. And then the goal of like strawberries is if we get a message back from corporate saying, hey guys, this may not be the best time to be buying strawberries. We want to advertise, this is what our strawberries look like at this time. They're not doing the best down the growing area, but this is how ours look. So you know what you're, you're fighting against out there. To the avocados, it would be cool too to kind of know how sometimes it's the different case sizes are more ready, you know, 48 count or you know, sometimes 60s are more ready than the 48 to kind of know that right. would be amazing. I get customers who are asking, them, can I get some firm avocado? You know, I'll buy two cases if I can get one firm and one mm -hmm. ripe. It's like, no, it's just preconditioned, or there's the firm 60 count. But have we ever thought of going back to where we could get them two different? It's is it too much? To is do, it too yeah. difficult? Yeah, pretty hard to do that. I mean, I, like I know a, that. You know, like just give them two different boxes, they'll be different. Well, the customers always <laughs> ask, well, can you pick this one for me? And can you get the. Just a thought. Yeah, okay, no, it's good. Good to know. That. <laughs> have a firm, have a firm. ask if I could do a 50-50 split in a box. I'm like, yeah, I'll just go to the warehouse and Put a firm. Take 24 firm and 24 right. <laughs> <laughs> Just a thought. Can I have half steak and half a halibut? <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Um, on Wednesdays, I'm sending out. Uh, did you guys have a chance to check out that video I sent out? Yeah. Uh, Glimpse of the cooler. So. Um, this is something that's a 30 second video. All this stuff is based around 30 seconds a day, by the way. Uh, 30 seconds to grab your information. Go. I know you guys are busy. Um, it's about our attention span, so. <laughs> yeah, 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 I was thinking of advertisements. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, so 30 seconds a day. So it's going to give you more information about that item of the week. This week I kind of did pineapple, just kind of went all out with it. Um, some quick information. Uh, you can pass that along to your customers. It's just something to learn from. It shows your customers that your produce department is making efforts to pass information to them, and you want to be an information source too. So just keeps on hitting that topic. Drive, drive it in every single day, every single week. And I want you guys thinking produce every single day, every single week. What's cool about this video is it made it all the way to the top of the food chain in the produce category in Houston. Uh, Rich Jackman is the, the vice president of produce, and he saw this video. He got sent along a chain of emails, but he saw it, he watched it, and he actually acknowledged Brent of, of how nice it was. And, and, and you right. make a name for yourself. Yeah. Woo! It was very good uh, to see it come all the way down from we'll Yeah, because then to... he's going to leave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and then we're gonna Way to go. Like, right. <laughs> <laughs> back <laughs> Then we're stuck with you and no one. You're kidding. <laughs> Uh, and again, I'm posting this all to my chatter page, so subscribe there. If you want to find that information quickly, yeah, go, to, go to my page. That's the best way to find it. I'll try my best to get that uh, hashtag out of it. And I'll also try my Twitter. best to yeah, yeah, follow me on Twitter, too, right. Facebook, whatever. <laughs> on Thursdays, um, I wanted to get your opinions on this. Uh, this is a what I call it once when you liked it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I want, I want you to think of something other than just a pineapple. Um, so it gets a conversation going with your customers. That's a beautiful recipe. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's simple. Um, Focus is around a produce plate, but there's going to be other items with it, so you can always tack on, you know, these extra cases like, oh, hey, like we have like something too, or we have coconut too here too. Um, it just gets you thinking about it differently. Don't think of a pineapple as a pineapple, but how can I apply it to my customer? So you see, like I wrote down, oh, you can incorporate. It's being incorporated in mixed drinks, desserts. You see it in a lot of tacos. It's good with flavors with heat to it. So. 
So every single every single we week, I want to send this out to you, so you think about it differently. Give your customer options and talk to them about their recipes, talk to them about their specials, and it helps too that pineapples on sale this week too. This was for uh, lunch today. Pineapple. Yeah, pineapple. That's, pineapple. that's all we're having is pineapple. There's <laughs> 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 a hundred different ways for pineapple. Right? Oh, Deep fried. Right right yeah, hundred <laughs> different ways to have pineapple. And um, lastly, this is the most important thing that I think um, we send out. Uh, we get this from corporate, Fresh Press, every week. And it's basically this tells you what the current market is for your commodities. And also, it, most importantly, it foreshadows what the market is. Shane did like. it every week. Shane does do it every we'll, week. We'll get up every Sunday morning. Yeah, I forward it every week. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, have, we have a great team in Houston that does this stuff for us. And because and, and, you can see, if you read through the bill, they'll, they'll talk about what happened in Georgia at a certain time. But it really applies to all of us what's going on in this country. And so it's, it's a, a good team down that is putting this stuff together. The power I don't, of this I don't think pictures like that. So regionally, it doesn't change much? Like, I mean, it affects us the same as it does in I, Yeah, New I think York so. I, I do. It would be Not the main main thing, but on the most part, yeah. yeah. Okay. It would be the main supply. So we might be getting some local things that might be different, but majority of this is going to be what you're going to yeah. too. Um, the power of this, though, is if, if you teach your customer to look at this religiously, I think it puts you on the same page. And they understand. They understand there that the product that the, that we're getting is the same as everywhere else out there, and that Cisco brand is going to be better quality or meet the meet those qualities that everyone else is getting. So it's not going to be like why is your quality downhill? Because they see it right here, they can read it, and they can say, like, okay, in the future, this isn't going to do well. And a good example that I've seen people use this is that lines went up this you know, like a month ago, the line price started going up. And before it dropped back down again, I've seen customers read that, and then they stocked up on lines before, so they get it at a lower price. And then when that price goes up, they're not having to buy it at five, extra, five, ten dollars a case. So it helps you protect. Yeah, thirty. <laughs> what is your chatter group page name? Oh, we haven't started yet. Uh, so I just got the idea today. I'm gonna oh. start it up right now. Um, okay. Produce. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Portland Produce. Will you send it out once you? Sure. I'll, I'll send it out over on uh, the all sales. So everyone can see it. What is that on the end? Color grids. It's color. It's color. So any comments, feedback about that? Do you think I can do anything differently that might help you guys better? Cool. Cool. We kind of swiped the, the information from Cisco Seattle. They were doing the avocado slash tomato one already, but they were doing it every single day. So I was like, I don't think we want to send this exact piece coming to you guys because I think it did get diluted eventually. So we wanted to send daily stuff, but different stuff daily. Um, that was our, our thought on that. What happens to the pig that loses? What? Uh, delicious. Delicious. That's bacon. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I lost like 60 bucks on those races. Like 20 bucks. <laughs> 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 Any other questions? Yeah. Yeah. Anything coming local has local in the first line description, correct? Exactly. Um, now, am I mistaken when we're getting the local lettuce? It's a local iceberg or local romaine is a whole different animal than what we're getting out of California. It would, uh, it would be great to maybe do a piece side by side to show customers. Here's what a local looks like versus you know what you're used to seeing. Because it looks always dirty and stuff like that. Well, well, it's lighter <laughs> weight. So it doesn't yeah. have the, the, the meat and potatoes as, as what our exactly. Cisco branded products have. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, I would just suggest sending them a box and, and guarantee the sale. Yeah, so and if they want to really see it, then you can do it that way. So I wanted to go over a few of the local, pro or not local, soon the programs we've uh, changed over to in the last three months. Uh, the first thing is I brought a box of apples up here. We made a switch.